I'm Aaron Rutten, and today I'll show you how Corel Painter makes it quick and easy to change the shape of your brush dab. That's the tip of your brush. Follow along with me and I'll show you how. Dabs come in every shape imaginable, and you can even capture your own dabs directly from the canvas. Painter has a library of dabs you can choose from in the captured panel, so we will work with those. Ensure that you are starting with a brush that uses a dab by filtering for stamp brushes. I'll choose Brushy in the Oils Bravura category. You can see that it has a bristly dab. The captured dabs fly out in the properties bar will give you access to the dab controls, but you can also pop out the panel. I'll also show the dab preview panel, which can be found in the general brush controls. The shortcut for that is Control B or Command B on Mac. This makes it easier to see what your dab currently looks like. Then simply click on a dab to select a different one. This dramatically changes the look of the brush. You can also apply effects to the dab to customize it or slightly randomize the dab shape. I find this useful for painting foliage because I can use a single brush to get a variety of leaf shapes. The strength slider controls the intensity of the effect. You can expand the edges of the dab, contract them, blur them, feather them, and even erode the dab depending on the effect you choose. It's important to note that effects will remain applied even when you switch to a new dab. You can choose to have a warning message appear reminding you of this, or you can disable it in the painter preferences. Some effects may make certain dabs invisible, so if you don't want the effect on the new dab, you'll need to remove it. You can also reset your brush, and the dab will reset to the default dab for that brush. I encourage you to have fun and experiment with these dabs. 